All right, so I've been inspired by all these uh, Theo Jansen mechanisms on YouTube, um, and mainly Jamie's giant robot project. So I have a lot of free time on my hands right now, and I love making things, so I decided I'm going to try to make my own giant robot Theo Jansen mechanism. It'll be a lot smaller than Jamie's giant robot. All right, so here's what I have so far. Um, I've just been scrounging up different materials I could find, uh, different types of aluminum tubing and such. So this is um, the shaft of an old bike pump I had that doesn't work anymore. Um, these tubes are from some shower curtain um, rods. This is the main supply that I have. This is all um, tubing for some type of like camping shelter that uh, my friend was getting rid of. The tarp piece that went with it wasn't there anymore. It's missing some pieces, so that'll be the main part of the body. Um, I just went out to a garage sale and I picked up this fancy um, tripod for one dollar, as you can see. And this will be really good. It has you know parts that extend, so right now there's nested aluminum tubes, and that will give me a lot of extra length. I have some um, old crutches here. from quite a while ago when I was injured. Crutches, that'll give me a lot of tubing. And as for wheels, um, this is actually the inner part of that bike pump I showed earlier. Um, and then these are all some old bike wheels that I have and uh, I don't really have any use for anymore. The bike that this came from broke and this is an old bike that I had when I was really little. And then also at the garage sale today I picked up these smaller wheels which are much more to the proportion that you need for a Theo Jansen me mechanism. Um, so these will probably work a lot better. Uh, I think the bike wheels would look pretty cool because they'd be overly large. Maybe I'll include them just to have more things spinning. But these wheels will probably make up the, the bigger part of it. Oh, and I have this, um, this big door. It's a hollow door that uh, was actually free at one of the garage sales. So it was a really great day. Um, a Saturday and nice weather. So there's garage sales all over my neighborhood. This door was free and I think I'm going to try to make it into the body the main chassis of the robot somehow. I don't exactly know yet how all of these parts are going to come together. There are two of my bikes. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put them all together exactly. I have some plans. Um, I will probably end up needing more pieces, but I guess I will start building it, and we'll find out as I go. Oh, and I, uh, I forgot to mention, but my one of my main goals is to make this all out of recycled materials, hence the reason I'm not using, you know, aluminum tube that I just bought or anything. I'm going through a tripod and crutches and camping supplies and old bike wheels and all these other things that... A lot of people might take for junk and I'm going to try to put them together and make something cool out of them. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, my battery just died and uh, I didn't have the cords or anything I needed to charge it so it's been a little while but as I was saying these are the pieces I've been making and I've been flattening the ends out uh, so then I can lay them on top of each other and have a flat plane to be able to bolt through so in the meantime I've been cutting a lot of pieces and started putting them together so I've made these fancy rotating pieces, which is the main part of the leg. And then, if you can see here, this is one of the first legs really starting to come together, all bolted, other than this piece which swings free. But anyway, I've been making good progress. I found a lot more metal. Um, I actually went out on 
trash day when everyone had their trash out I found a large high chair and a stroller um, these are some of the remnants here this is a little tripod obviously but these are like the handles of the stroller and different things that I cut off and these are all old stroller parts so that was really good and then last night let me run into the other room I found the jackpot of giant walking machine parts when my next door neighbor was throwing this away hopefully you can see that it's not too dark this is a um, one of those big shelters that you can keep in your backyard that expands so these legs are all double they have more metal inside of them this metal is all usable so I have like I don't know hundreds and hundreds of inches of robot legs that I need so this is a really good find and I'm gonna start cutting it up chaos ah! it's getting better more organized almost there So here's the final result. This is all the plastic pieces. We've got a whole coffee can filled with now nuts and bolts and washers and great free stuff. And then 140 feet about, that was my estimate, of metal tubing. 140 feet is enough to completely double what I already had for the first half of the robot. So instead of doing three legs in the front and three legs in the back, I can now do six and six which is really ideal for the uh, Jansen mechanism that I'm trying to make. So, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> and I keep calling it a robot. It's not actually going to be robotic at all. It's just a, uh, a walking machine. Maybe I will eventually put some type of um, wind capture on it, hopefully, like a vertical axis windmill on top instead of the horizontal ones that Theo Jansen always has. Um, to be able to make it walk by itself. It won't be able to think or do anything, but it'll be able to walk in straight lines. So, pretty sweet. <laughs>